Hello there and welcome back to help one day before exam. This will be a crash course on unary operators and they are applicable to JavaScript, Java, Python, PHP and even the GameMaker language. So the quick crash course. So basically normally what you will be having is a variable which is set to a value which could be a number so a constant or which could be set to a string which is just a word and then you do some operations I don't know, add something or divide it or even compare and then you do something with those values hold inside. And normally how you would read this and how it would, would be working, you have a value, let's say of 10. We add with the add operator to the old stored value into this variable of let's say health. And then we set it to the new value of health. And this actually is how it works from right to left and this is how you do those statements those instructions in code so this is the easy peasy stuff so let's go for example for i don't know here uh, as a little example so i would say hey number is if you for example want to increment it so add one number plus one we would write it like this and this is called incrementation and of course if you go for minus then we are subtracting by one and of course you can actually do this shorthand which is for example like this number plus plus and therefore it's called unary because you just need one variable and you instantly do an operation on this variable here or, no, or maybe number or whatever you want to call it doesn't really matter so basically you instantly do this and not completely instantly it's because here this is a little exception because you can write actually something like this and there's a little difference concerning what that actually means so if you do the plus plus before it's called a prefix and if you do it after the variable it's called a postfix and this means quite a lot so for example if you do this plus plus before and then you write something in here which is dependent on the number so let's say we are checking like hey is the number bigger than 15 do something then this thing will apply but if for example if you do plus plus here the stuff which is coming after that will not apply because the number is getting updated after one step or one cycle or whatever you want to call it so basically this number will still be having a value of 15 very very important to understand and game maker studio doesn't work so don't even try i tried it yeah this is a little issue but in all other higher tier languages like Java, C, C or C sharp, C++ and so on and Pythons and whatever they are called, this will actually work. Kind of interesting to understand. And of course, if you want to decrement by, by one, you go with minus minus. And then the next thing which you can actually do is do a negation. So normally this would be working in and it is working in all the other languages. You just go for minus then what's actually happening it will try to convert a string so basically a word so let's say for example we convert that thing into uh, this number variable in, in, in this whole this whole value into a word and then for example if you do minus 15 then it will convert it but of course it doesn't work in game maker so we need to make a little workaround we just go minus and then it actually does work and then it will convert the word into a real number and then go for minus and it's subtracting because we did something here but as you can see it does and of course we can go for plus but well this it does already work also so basically this is just a, con a quick shorthand way to convert things but of course in the other languages we can skip this part we can just write that and we are good but of course we are not good in game maker and then we can do a logical unary operator which is just a negation of it so basically let's say we want to have something drawn on the screen so let's say false so this is representation of zero and one false zero uh, true one so this is a boolean as you can see i said false it's zero but let's say we want to have the negative version of that for the boolean bam we uh, put the exclamation mark then and then it will say one which is true sweet so this is the logical part and then this is the most useless part of this whole video and it's only applicable if the robots will uh, uh, rule over us and this is just 
starting uh, 2025. So basically we still have five years to go and then you can impress your robot overlord with a bitwise operation here. So what do I mean by that? Well, this little thing, which is this little thing here, it's called a title. And this title is doing a conversion into the complement of it. This is in quick terms, basically the complement, so the negative version of an input which you're having. So if you have a representation of a number, let's say one as your decimal system, so you have 10, 20, 100, whatever, then you have a, a potency of 10. This is your normal decimal system, which you're using everywhere. And then the robots cannot read this. They need their zeros and ones. And therefore, for example, you have eight bits forming one byte. And therefore, in these kind of numbers, they are represented. And if you do the complement, you just flip the zeros into ones and then you have the complement. And therefore, let's say uh, you would be having the complement of that. Then the number would be one, 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 and at the end is zero. Yay me, yay uh, for the future for the robots. We don't need that stuff. Still very apl applicable if you're doing uh, or having your first semester at computer science because they, they will very, very likely annoy you with this useless stuff here. So conversion and calculations, how you can do this. But we're gonna skip on this because hey, it's a crash course. So hopefully you like this. If you really liked it, subscribe to the channel for more. And if you have some suggestions for another thing, because you need it one day before your exams, uh, let me know in the comment sections. Have a good one. One up indie.